by way of introduction about the, giving the context regarding storage, um, some of you are probably aware that South Africa is really blessed with abundant wind and solar energy. Um, and storage has been identified in the IRP as one of the key technologies to unlock wind and solar in particular. It provides the perfect flexibility for the intermittence of renewables, but it also allows us to store energy that we can then use later as part of load shifting strategy. So IRP itself has uh, IRP 2019. There's a new IRP that's currently under discussion, but we're still working according to 2019 IRP. 2019 IRP has identified 1.7 gigawatt of energy storage that needs to be procured with between now and 2028. And IPP office has been given that full mandate to procure that storage. And as Lelani mentioned last year, March, we released the first bid window for storage uh, for about 513 megawatts. We managed to announce the preferred bidders in December last year. There is one preferred bidder that we're still negotiating, which will take us to the full 513 megawatts uh, capacity that was allocated there. So we are very excited about this program. So this new program um, is about uh, 615 megawatts. Uh, the substations have already been identified. Uh, Lelani mentioned that Keswell will go through that process, so I won't spoil his presentation. But just to mention that uh, we have eight substations that have been allocated in the northwest uh, province for the total of 615 megawatts of capacity that will be procured. Uh, project sizes obviously will be determined by this by the sizes of the substation, and uh, Crescent will go, sorry, Caswell will go through that uh, in, in more detail. The PPA term, it's uh, 15 years um, for capacity and ancillary services. Uh, that ESCOM as the buyer uh, will be um, the counterparty to that uh, power purchase agreement with the successful uh, preferred bidders. Um, just to emphasize again, economic development like we've done in the previous bid windows and other bid windows remains the pillar for, for the procurement program that we run. So those who are interested in understanding more about uh, our procurement program, we have all the details in our website where we're running different programs for different technologies that you may be interested in as well. Um, changes, there hasn't been a lot of changes from bid window one to bid window two and battery storage in particular just maybe two or three areas that, that uh, may be different. Uh, the first one being um, South African entity participation. We want to encourage local participation in these procurement programs. So we are requiring a minimum of 49% uh, South African ownership uh, as a qualification criteria. So that's a mandatory requirement for all bidders that, that, that plans to participate in this program. And then secondly, uh, we will have reserve bids um, so if bidders who are identified as preferred bidders are struggling to close the programs within or projects within the allocated timelines, we will then uh, move to the next uh, reserve bidder. Um, so the, the, the um, provisions around that are already in the RFP, but more details will be provided as well as to how this will be managed going forward. And the team will also go into details on this. And then the other important aspects, and, and for those who joined earlier in the Bid Window 7 uh, conference, the government guarantee for storage has not changed. So government is still backing storage to the full 100% um, uh, contingency liability in case of uh, non-payment uh, by, by the buyer um, or uh, expropriation or change in law by, by government. So that's basically in a nutshell what, what um, one could say around storage between the two uh, without really spoiling what the team is going to share with you later on. Just finally, in terms of the timelines, um, we are aiming to close this program as soon as possible. Uh, the date at this point is 31st of April. Um, and thereafter, we're hoping that evaluation should take us not longer than two to three months. So by end of July, we should be able to announce the preferred bidders. And the preferred bidders will be given four months thereabout to close the projects and move into construction. Construction, it's expected to take not longer than um, 24 months from you know, the time we close the project until the, 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 the projects come online and start uh, commercial, commercial operation.